the first comedian to bring to the stage of your screen is uh, is on a quite literally right now I think on the set of uh, Upload, which is an original Amazon series by the creators of The Office, Zainab Johnson. Hey, Moses. <laughs> is that what you're shooting right now? Can you say? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in Vancouver right now, and I'm not actually on set, but I am uh, next door in the production office in one of their spaces because the Wi-Fi in my trailer sucked. How is it one shooting something in a lockdown, because a lot of the fun of being on set is that it's more social than stand up. It's mm -hmm. you have to hang out with everyone. But now there's this almost weird protective coat on everything. You know what? COVID, I thought that COVID was going to make the like day to day things really sort of annoying. Um, I thought it was going to add a lot of business to the already businessy things you have to do. And it doesn't like you get pretty used to it. I have one of my masks right next to me. So I'm yeah. so used to putting this on and off. Um, it's nothing. The thing that's like, um, you know, can cause like anxiety is in Vancouver, you get like zones and the zones define like how often you get tested. So, you know, oh, there's you different zones for different people, which is some weird future shit of like you're a group A and it's like, oh, I want to be A. That's yeah, fine. no, it totally feels I am legend. It totally feels like the beginning of the end. Yeah. I think the travel ban really helps, you know, like the US and I love the US, but the US was like, we don't care, come and go as you please, you know? And Canada is still not like that. When I first got here, I had to do a 14 day quarantine and they were serious, like calling me every single day, sending emails, I had to check in. The neighbors, like the moment I opened the door for Instacart, the neighbors were also out there like, we dare you to take one foot out that door. <laughs> Wow. I even did a virtual fitting where they had all the clothes delivered to my apartment. And I was on the phone with a COVID operator from the government. And she heard the wardrobe stylist on a Zoom call. And she was like, hold on a second. Is that someone else in your background? It doesn't say that you've traveled with anyone. And I was like, relax, lady. It's Zoom. You're it's hearing. Zoom. Yeah, yeah. No one has that terrible robot voice of Zoom audio cut out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they take, I, I know people that have gotten the full fine. I mean, there's a $160,000 fine. Yeah. This person was doing like two lines on something. So Wait, it's you know they got fine. a fine? Yeah. And they, they actually, in Vancouver, they're serious about it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're super serious. serious about it. They saw yeah. someone uh, go to a grocery store that was on a set that shall not be named. Paramount yeah. Plus Network. <laughs> and then here it's just like, wear your mask anywhere on your face and then that's fine. I mean, some states have removed the mask mandate at this point. I like the mask that you have. It's the one for actors, so it doesn't mess up your hair makeup. and makeup. So it's essentially, it goes around your neck, right? Mm -hmm. It's a trough. It feels like you should put food in there and then just throughout the day, eat your way out. I love it because it's always like a button to a conversation. You know how we used to be able to hang up flip phones? Yeah. Whenever I've made a point, at the end of the point, I'm like, and I'm done. It's very satisfying. And I like how you were talking to that person with your mask down the entire time. <laughs> no just spraying. COVID, 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 no more COVID. I'm not a germaphobe at all, but I, it's hard when they keep showing us these very disturbing graphics of like, here's how much spray comes off of someone. And then like, how are we going to cope after this? If you and I are talking and I'm just going to be thinking about these computer graphics of just my stuff coming off. Oh, I'm never going back to normal. I'm standing six feet apart from everybody. I'm wearing a mask everywhere. I don't care. This is a new normal. I, I know what spit does now. No more wet handshakes with people. No. I don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to hug you. I've seen how many people protest about hand washing. Like, I got to wash my hands again. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I'm never coming to your house again. <laughs> What's next? I got to wipe my butt? You should want to do that just for you. But is it nice to just be back around people and socializing and essentially have an excuse under the guidelines of like, I'm working? Yeah, it feels really good to be back at work. I mean, we, you know this, we all yeah. like stand up to go dive, you know? Oof. So for me, just even as a creative person, it feels like I'm finding that I'm having so much fun on set and I'm, un I'm not afraid to try things. And I think it's because... I'm missing the performance of stand up. And so now every time I get in a scene, I'm like, I got jokes. And oh, they're like, could you, yeah. could you just do it how it's written? I'm like, but I got jokes. <laughs> I got jokes. If you can get a laugh from a cashier at a grocery store, oh, set for the week. Yeah. I think one of the last things that 
I did like one of the like, second to last ish big events is you and I were in Chicago. And we we did yes. those Team Pogo shows for the yes. NBA All Star Game, unwittingly hosting a super spreader event. Unknowingly, unknowingly, unknowing. I saw photos pop up and like how iPhone makes you feel bad, and it's like memories from last year. I'm just looking at all the people. I'm like, oh no. But that was such a great way to go out, right? If we yeah. if we had to choose what your last kind of event was going to be before lockdown, like that was amazing. Right. That was a fun show. It wasn't like I did the Flappers YooHoo room. Yeah, at no. At 6 a.m. on a Sunday. My hotel, I went up in my, like every morning, every night, I was seeing professional NBA players from it. I'm like, this is, this is the way, this is pregame a lockdown. Yeah. And it was nice to not be like, usually if it's a comedy festival, there's a lot of pressure on comedians. This was nice. Cause like, we're the side thing. We're like the yeah. side of that. Everyone's here for the NBA. And if they're too drunk to be in that game, they come heckle us at this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been doing your, your, your podcast, just friends. Is that how you're keeping up with performing? Just talking in front of people? Or are you trying to do these outdoor or even zoom shows? I do two podcasts. So I do honesty with Z um, which is just me and I rant about the world. Oh, that's great. And Just Friends is another podcast that I do with another comedian. And that's like relationship. So we talk all relationship stuff. We talk about everything, marriage, being single, sex. We answer questions. It's fun. You guys saw the live one you did on Sunday. I was watching live and people had questions. Have you noticed the questions have gotten a little weirder as people have had less time to date and more time to spend alone? Yes. I don't know. They're almost like too, too much to the point. They don't coat them at all. I think also too, you have a lot of people who, when they're talking to comedians, they really try and jazz up their questions, you know, yeah. like they really try to write their best joke. But the reality is you see a lot of people are lonely. Like people answer their own question in the question. Like this guy cheated on me four times, but he made me laugh the other day. Should I be with him? It's like... <laughs> What? <laughs> you have the answer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you wrote yeah, the wow. answer down. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, girl, he did not make you laugh. This is a pandemic. You looking for something funny. Like everything is funny. Right. Yeah. Your list of like would never has severely gone down. Exactly. Exactly. So season two of Upload is coming. TBD. Yeah. But season one is available on Amazon right now. You, of course, have the two great podcasts with these great names. Honestly, with Z. <laughs> Can't, I wanted to name my podcast that, but people said it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you did. Uh, when thank Moses you. talks to Zainab and she just tells him the truth. Yeah. It's easy. We could switch right. it. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for chatting with us. Thanks for having me.